What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. My name is Misha, I'm your host of this channel. If you are new here, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button. We are on our way to a thousand subscribers to get the channel monetized. And once we hit a thousand subscribers and get the channel monetized, I'm gonna buzz my hair. Not like I have any of it a lot left, but also I would like to announce that once we hit a thousand subscribers and we get monetized on this channel, I'm gonna do a giveaway. I'm gonna be giving away, listen, ready? I will be giving away a full credit repair for free or it's up to you. You can ask for an hour of my time on a call I can give away help with Shopify, with Facebook ads or TikTok ads, everything for free. I will give you advice or any help you need or a credit repair completely for free. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is subscribe to my second channel, link in the description and comment on this video. Also, you have to make sure you are subscribed to this channel right here. So basically subscribe to two channels and comment on this video. Yes, you are welcome. I know I'm very generous. I do give away a lot of valuable information. So what I do basically, they call me Robin Hood. If you are new here, I take all the information from courses and I just, I don't leak it, but I explain it in my way. Today, I'm gonna talk about this beast of a card. I hope you can see it. If not, zoom in. If it's not blurry, can you see it? The Chase Sapphire Preferred, $95 annual fee, 5x on travel purchases through Chase, 3x on dining, 2x on all the other travel purchases, and one point per dollar on every other purchases. There's many more benefits to this that I'm gonna get into, but I just wanna give you a brief description. I hold this card very close to my heart because this card was my first, I guess, big boy metal travel card. Guys, I'm telling you right now, once you get a taste of the metal cards, you will be addicted to them. They feel so much cooler, especially when you pay or when you use them in the stores or when you give them to the waitress. They feel so much cooler because they're made of metal and it kind of gives you, it doesn't give you a status, but it does boost your ego a little bit. This card is definitely one of my favorite cards to use, especially for such a low annual fee. Especially when I applied, I got a nice introductory bonus of 80,000 points. But before I get into it, let me get into something that's very important guys your credit score is very important if you're watching this video and you're in the process of repairing your credit score uh make sure first of all make sure you sign up for the giveaway and go look at my other videos on how to clean up your credit report when i was young i did not know a lot about the credit game but once i got older and i realized it how important it was i started to build up my credit i started learning about the credit i definitely made a lot of mistakes when i was younger but again we all make mistakes and we just have to fix them and move forward but guys it's very important that you fix up your credit score, especially if you want to apply for this card. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to clean some stuff up. As I said, I do have a lot of stuff on how to clean up your credit report, so make sure you go check out some content. I do give away a lot of valuable information that people make you pay for, so I'm giving away for free, as I said that before. All right, without further ado, always take so long in these intros, but I just, I just like to talk to you guys, so hope you enjoy my presence just like as much as I enjoy yours, which I don't enjoy your presence because I can't see you. Let's go to the Chase website, and I will tell you more about this credit card because this credit card is absolutely a beast of a credit card for $95. So, I'm telling you right now, if you wanna get approved for this credit card, I recommend a credit score between 690 and like 700 plus, but I'm gonna tell you a little secret right now. If you are a Chase customer, there's other ways to get approved if your credit score is lower than 690. I personally, when I was starting out, I was rebuilding my credit, but I was a Chase customer and I got approved with a credit score of 660 for I think a five grand line. So the trick is that if you don't have an account with Chase, what do you have to do is if you have a full-time job and you have a direct deposit, you go to Chase, you open an account, and I think they're giving away $200 for a new checking account. If you make five, I think of five or seven, five or 10 qualifying purchases on your debit card, you get $200 for free. So Chase is really good with that stuff. Open a bank account and you set up your direct deposit to go to that bank account. So, and then you wait around two, three months and then you will get pre-qualified offers in your bank account. You will see them on the bottom of the credit cards are. They will give you a list of the pre-qualified credit cards because you see that you have direct deposits set up and you're using your bank account. So if you're building a relationship with them, I guess, they will give you a bigger chances of approval. So you will get $200 from opening a new checking account and then you'll get the credit card bonus after you apply for it. So basically you can get away with like thousand dollars just from transferring to Chase. Guys, that's that that's real money right there. All right, without further ado, let's dive into this Chase website, Sapphire. Chase Sapphire Preferred. So there's two Sapphire cards. One is Chase Sapphire Reserve, which is, I believe, $550 annual fee credit card. Uh, yeah, that's pretty expensive. And then Chase Sapphire Preferred, which is $95 annual fee. I'm gonna tell you right now, if you are not a big baller, or you don't travel too much, 
uh, I would apply for Chase Sapphire Preferred. If you do travel a little bit, but if you're traveling a lot, I would definitely recommend Chase Sapphire Reserve. But I would also recommend for that price, I would just go and apply for Amex Platinum because there's so many perks for $600. I believe Platinum is $695 a year, but it's so much worth it that you don't want to miss out on that. So instead of getting the Chase Sapphire Reserve for $500, $550, I would just add an extra 100 bucks and that would go to Amex Platinum. But for beginners, Chase Sapphire Prefer is definitely the card you wanna apply for when you're just starting out with the travel credit card. Chase usually gives away a lot of introductory points. Uh, right now it's 60,000 bonus points. When I applied a while ago, uh, it was 80,000 points. So you have to catch the right time, I guess. I don't know when they're gonna go back to 80,000 points, but 60,000 points is still around $600 if you want that back or it's $750 towards travel. So that's still very good and it's free. Combine that with a $200 checking account for beginners, I mean, for like new customers, then that's like $950, a good chunk of money right there. Also, I'm gonna leave my link to apply for this credit card. If you're looking to apply, to it, if you apply through my link, I'll get $150 in points. So if you wanna be generous, you can help me out with that, but it's up to you. You can apply through the website, you can apply through my link. Again, I would recommend that you apply through my link because I want my points to travel. Ultimate Rewards Hotel Credit. So if you're booking a hotel through Chase Sapphire Preferred Card, you will get $50 back on as a statement credit. So that's pretty cool. Going down more, 5X points on travel purchase through Chase. Earn 5X total points. So basically, if you spend $1,000 on travel purchases through Chase, that will be 5,000 points, which equals to $50 back off your $1,000 purchase. So that's pretty good if you ask me, $50 back on a $1,000 purchase. That's, that's nice. That's almost like gas money for your car. But again, if you're a big baller and you spend like five grand on travel purchases, that's 25,000 points, which equals to $2,250 back, which equals to probably like a free hotel night. So that's still pretty good. Uh, 2x points on all other travel purchases earn 2x on airfare hotels taxis and trains So basically if you order a taxi you will get 2x points on that purchase So you just multiply you just multiply the price by 2 so 100 times 2 if you're spending $100 That would be 200 points back uh, 3x points on online grocery purchases. So if you're using like if you're using like Instacart, you will get 3X back. 3X points on dining, that one is pretty nice. So if you spend like $300 on a restaurant, family dinner, whatever it is, you'll get 900 points back. So that equals to about nine bucks. Still guys, it doesn't sound like too much, but they add up and especially in your first three months, you have to hit a $4,000 spend mark to get your introductory points. So if you have any big purchases coming up, I would charge it on the credit card and then pay it off so you can hit that $4,000 mark. One point per $1. So whatever you spend on any other purchases outside of these categories, you will still get one point back, which is kind of nice because again, it does all add up at the end. 10% anniversary boost. So what, how many, however many points you will get throughout that year from the account opening date. So if I open my account in January 2020, January 2020, and then they will count all those points all the way up to January 2021 for that one year and they will give you 10% off that. So that's, again, that's pretty cool. They do have travel protection benefits. Uh, again, most of the credit cards do, but I'm not really gonna get into that because it's kind of boring. Guys, for a $95 annual fee, this card is still a beast. Compared to the Chase Sapphire Reserve, Chase Sapphire Reserve is basically Chase Sapphire Preferred, but on steroids, as you can tell. Uh, they have crazier, I think they have crazier categories. You get $300 annual travel credit, and then again, the, the X's are much higher on the categories there. But again, I feel like it's not really worth it because with Amex, if you get the Platinum card at Amex, you get so much, like so many perks, which makes Sapphire Reserve kind of not worth it. So also 5X total points on Lyft. So if you use Lyft, you can get five points on that. DoorDash Pass subscription, Dash Pass, if you use Dash Pass, you, uh, you use Dash Pass, you can uh, use your card and you'll get a free subscription. Instacart benefits, you get six months of complimentary Instacart. That's pretty nice. Instacart Plus. GoPuff monthly statement credit. Receive $10 monthly statement credit from GoPuff. I'm not sure what GoPuff is. Uh, this card is, again, $95 annual fee, $0 for each authorized user. Whereas Sapphire Reserve is $75 per authorized user. With this card, you can transfer all your points to different categories, which I'm gonna get into right now. I'm gonna show you the Chase portal, the travel portal, how you can use your points. 
there is a lot of options so let, let's get into that all right guys so this is what the ultimate rewards portal from chase looks like again when you're coming from like regular credit cards like discover capital one you don't really get to use this especially if you like have beginning credit cards but i think capital one does have like if you have a higher tier credit card with capital one they do have like their portal but again i like chase the best it looks really good chase and mx are the two two best portals i've ever seen in the preferably that's what i recommend so this is what it looks like i also have points left over here that i haven't really used in a while uh, this is what the feature benefits are six month complimentary instacart instacart statement credit all this stuff is in here guys this, this portal is really cool honestly you can do whatever you want you can earn bonus points you can actually shop on the apple with points they do get some discounts last time i checked they had like 200 dollars off an iphone through chase points so that's that's like the latest version of the iphone you can uh you can redeem your points for cash back, for dining, gift cards. You can pay with points, you can pay yourself back. So if you have 100,000 points, you can get $1,000 back on those points or something, whenever you, whatever it calculates to, I'm not, I don't remember. Uh, you can do it for travel. You can see your rewards activity on what you, what you get the points for. Experiences, deals, way to earn and way to use. You can also combine points and then you can transfer to travel partners. So let's check it out. So when you go to transfer partners, this is the partners that they have on the Ultima Rewards portal. These are the only partners that you can uh, send your send your points to. So right now, for example, sometimes they have bonus offers, like last time Marriott had a 50% match. So basically, whatever you move to a Marriott account, they will match 50% of that. So if you have like 100,000 points, they'll match with 50,000. So that's pretty cool. Right now, Voyager Atlantic Flying Club, they'll do 30% bonus points. So I'm assuming if you uh, drop like 100,000 points into the account, they'll give you 30,000 points for free. Uh, so they do have a couple airlines, Aer Lingus. I swear to God, every time I hear Aer Lingus, it sounds like a disease. Like it sounds like an STD. Oh yeah, he got Aer Lingus. Like it's just so funny to me, but they have Air Canada, Air France, British Airways, Emirates, Iberia, JetBlue, Singapore Airlines, Southwest, United Airlines, Virgin Atlantic. Uh, for hotels, they have Hyatt, IHG Hotels and Resorts, Marriott, Bomboy. So uh, most of the most of the well-known partners. Right now, I have points, so if I wanted a ticket somewhere, I, I can probably get it for free. You can book trips, you can book hotels, flights, cars, whatever you need, you can book through them. Again, as I said, you get 5x points on all your purchases through Chase Portal. So if I wanted to book a flight right now, they'll give me 5x back on whatever I pay. Chase Sapphire Preferred is definitely a beast for $95. I would recommend applying it, especially if it's your first big boy or big girl travel credit card, I would definitely recommend it. If you want to apply, you can apply through my link so I get some bonus points, it's up to you. Again, as I said guys, make sure you enter the giveaway. I'll be giving away your full credit repair or an hour with me consulting on your uh, on your Facebook advertising, Shopify advertising or Shopify, whatever you want, basically it's up to you. Thanks for tuning in today's video. I hope you get some valuable content out of it. If you did, make sure you go down there and hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.